Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another FNAF news video. This is very, very exciting because we have new voice actors and actresses for the upcoming Security Breach game. I want to say a few things right off the bat. Number one, I, as far as I'm, as far as I'm aware, we don't 100% uh, know if this is for Security Breach. This could entirely be for Scott's separate independent game that he's working on um, that is coming out later this year. But because we literally know nothing about that project, I really don't think that these voices are going to be for that game. Because not only would it be weird for Scott to already start working on voices when, you know, he still has the whole rest of the year to work on the game, but we also know nothing about the game. <laughs> no teasers, no trailers, no anything, so it would be weird for him to start teasing it with voices um, before actual, like, gameplay and hints. He really hasn't said anything properly about this game besides just little messages here and there in live streams. So that's why for this video I'm going to be looking at this information as if it were for Security Breach, which I do think it is. Also, uh, I will not be showing any of the action figures, I won't be showing any of the prototype designs for the characters in this video. We've done this uh, for two other videos where I had I technically had the characters in the thumbnails but I blackened them out just in case people wanted to avoid those spoilers. I know that the uh, the um, the spoiler tag has been lifted for security breach designs all over on the Reddit, but just in case, I won't be showing them. So you don't have to be worried about going into this video and seeing those designs. I won't be showing them. Yeah, so we have three new voice listings that have roles now. Two of which are completely new voice actors uh, coming into the FNAF franchise, and one is a returning voice actor. So let's not waste any more time, I'm going to show you guys the listings and we're going to discuss them. So the first one we're going to discuss is Joe Gaudet. So Joe is not new to FNAF at all. He had three voices in Ultimate Custom Night. He had Rockstar Foxy, Funtime Foxy, and Mr. Hippo. And now he will be starring as the friendly but annoying Cleanbot. Friendly but annoying Cleanbot. Hmm, this is gonna be fun. Um, a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be some sort of hand unit type character, and I do think that is going to be the case. People are joking, saying it's going to be like janitor hand unit, which, as funny as that is, I do think it's probably what this what this character is. Friendly but annoying is definitely the words that I would use to describe hand unit. He's not quite as annoying as this character is most likely going to be. It seems like this character, based off of the role, is probably going to be on our side. Again, kind of the hand unit type guiding us through the game. I will say, if it is kind of like hand unit, I'm very sad that Andy Field is not coming back. Very sad that he's not coming back to voice hand unit, but then again, you never know, maybe he will come back just with a different voice. The clean bot part of it is kind of odd. Um, I will say, <laughs> I'm not signing up to be a janitor in this game, unless that is actually what we are, in which case that is hilarious. And also really similar to the uh, Wally Wonderland film that's apparently coming out with Nicolas Cage. I'm pretty sure we can't check the listings anymore. I think Voices.com changed, so I'm really sad about that. So we can't see like the description or anything. So that's kind of my ideas about what this character could be. Um, again, it seems pretty straightforward. Again, just a clean bot that's kind of like hand unit, but slightly more annoying. And so now we are going to move on to one of the more interesting voices. So the second voice is Metal Femme Fatale, which, if you're like me, have no clue what the hell that means. But luckily, we have the wonderful Kane Carter here to help us out. Kane helps us out on Twitter saying, that's meant to say Femme Fatale. A Femme Fatale is a mysterious, beautiful, and seductive woman whose charms ensnare her lovers, often leading them into compromising deadly traps. Oh boy, what a game security breach is going to be. And a lot of people are making the connections that, you know, this sounds like Vanny, this is what Vanny is. Hold off, hold off for just a second, because that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense in the form of this listing. While you could consider Vanny a femme fatale, the listing specifically says a metal femme fatale. As far as we're aware, Vanny's not a robot. Yeah, that really only leaves two options as of now. Either Roxanne or Glamrock Chica. Both of which 
are metal. You know, they're animatronic, so it makes sense in that, you know, side of the listing. And they also could be a femme fatale, if you really want to think about it, because they are murderous animatronic, so they could lead the night guard into a deadly trap and shank him in the back. It really could go either way. I don't really have any ideas on whether it is Roxanne or whether or not it is Glamrock Chica. I think it really could go either way. And before we go on to the third and final voice listing, um, I just want to inform you guys that the voice actress for this metal femme fatale is Stacy Young. All of the listings and all of the voice actors and actresses will be linked in the description below. So if you want to go see what type of, you know, work they've done in the past, feel free to go check them out. And so, we come to the third and final and most interesting voice listing for the video. So, this voice listing has one of the funniest names ever. It's called, What a Sweet Kid, No Evil Intentions. So, as you could guess by the name of the listing, this is a kid doing this voice. Samantha Cavallaro. I'm so, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your last name. I suck at names. I'm so sorry. So, unlike the other two voice listings, we do have a bit more information on this one. So, the ward count for this one is 200, and the finished minutes, uh, should be 1 minute and 20 seconds. What's strange is that the gender seems unimportant. Again, I'm taking this from Kane Carter's Twitter, and he specifically points out that Scott didn't give a specific gender for this role. It's also worth pointing out, uh, if you haven't gathered already, the no evil intentions part is most likely, like, 99.9% .9 misleading, and I'm sure this voice is supposed to be really dark and mysterious. Now, who this character could be? <laughs> That's a toughie. I don't see Scott and Steel World just throwing in random characters and random voices for no reason at all. I feel like this character is definitely going to have some importance to the story. Maybe they are a kid that gets stuffed into a suit. Maybe it's a kid that, you know, Vanny murders. Maybe it's the one that she picked out, like she said, in her, um, her mask seen when you hold up glitch trap and the prize count on help wanted it's also worth noting i should have mentioned this in the last listing but vanny has a voice guys so none of these voice listings um or vanny i'm pretty sure the voice actress is jessica tang yes okay yeah so jessica tang is the voice of vanny so vanny already has a voice she already has a voice actor none of these new listings are of vanny going back to the uh, the child for a moment i feel like Again, they're gonna have some significance to the story, they're gonna have some significance in the game, whether we interact with them, whether it's just a cutscene, they are going to be important, I bet you. So, to finish it up, um, I want to talk about the way I think the game is in, you know, completion percent. A lot of people are saying that the game is nearing completion because when Scott was working on Sister Location, voice acting was one of the very last things he did for the game. And right off the bat, I just want to say, this is being made by Steerwolf. I don't know how many of you guys still don't realize this, but Scott isn't directly working on this game. He's not making it himself, he is letting Steerwolf make it. They are making it, not Scott. They obviously will most likely have different development steps. They are obviously going to have a different way of developing games. Though it is worth pointing out that when Curse of Dreadbear was being made, voice acting was also one of the last things they did, but it wasn't like the very last thing they did, like when Scott was working on Sister Location. So while I think yes, the game is moving along really nicely. You know, it's, they're really, really working hard on it. I don't think it will be releasing anytime soon. And my main piece of evidence is that we still don't have a trailer. However, I've seen a lot of people announce on the subreddit that the merchandise has been moved to an August release date, mid-August, I think, um, which it seems strange, you know, why Why are they moving it? Why are they moving the release date for a game that is coming out later this year, but also having merchandise releasing in August? And I had a little thinky think, and I think I know why, okay? This makes a lot of sense when you think about it. 
um, and I'm gonna have lots of evidence here, so stick with me. I, as well as I'm sure a lot of you, <laughs> believe that we are going to be getting a trailer sometime soon. When is the question? And I think I have the answer. This is not confirmed. This is just my own big brain thoughts spilling out onto you. Not onto you, but you know, into your ears. I think August 8th or around then, mid-August, we will get a trailer. Not only does it align well with the merchandise releasing, but it also aligns perfectly with the sixth anniversary of FNAF. It makes sense. It'll also be a year after we first learned about Security Breach because we got that first teaser on August 8th, 2019. So the more you think about it, the more, you know, the pieces start to start to come together and they form a nice little uh, theory, a game. As for a official game release, again, later this year, it's been confirmed by Scott. Also, another thing that I thought of um, was maybe the game was originally supposed to release in August, which is why all the merchandise was releasing in August. Um, you know, again, it would align well with the first teaser we got for the game for the anniversary of FNAF, but they delayed it to later this year. That's another theory that you should keep in mind. Um, but yeah, later this year, it's coming out. When? What month? I don't know. I feel like we're de we are definitely going to get that in the trailer when it drops eventually. But all we can do right now is kind of just wait for more information. I have been talking for a long time. I'm sorry. I like to ramble on. Um, and this video just had a lot of speculation because it's a lot of information, but none of it is really clear. So again, a lot of speculation. But thank you so much for sitting through this. There's going to be like two other videos today, I'm pretty sure. One video is gonna be super quick. I'm just going to announce that the voting for the best and, f uh, best and worst FNAF game is ending tomorrow. But then we also have a FNAF special delivery update coming tonight, which is really exciting. I have no clue what they're gonna do. I'm going to try and stay completely blind. Usually I look up like on the Discord, on the Reddit, see what character is being added. I wanna try and stay blind for a change and see my initial thoughts on the character. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.